So after Deadpool and Wolverine's massive opening weekend, the question was, how is the movie going to fare in weekend number two? Well, we got our answer, and uh, I pulled this from Variety. Deadpool and Wolverine scores $97 million in massive second weekend. So after $211 million domestically its opening weekend, it backed it up with $97 million. So right now, the movie sits at about $308 million in two weekends at the box office. Now, granted, the second weekend was a drop of 53%, which, not bad, all things considering. I mean, you look at other Marvel properties that had decent first weekends and then had huge drops the second weekend. Well. I won't, I won't, I won't say anything, but you know, the Marvels had that big, nearly 70% drop. <laughs> yeah. Um, so all hail Marvel Jesus, Deadpool and Wolverine starring Ryan Reynolds as the Merc with the mouth who dubs himself the Messiah of his world. Yes, he's Marvel Jesus. And Hugh Jackman, who reprised his role, role as Wolverine, has provided another jolt to the box office, collecting a stellar $97 million in its second weekend of release. Ticket sales down just 53% from its mighty $211 million debut rank as the eighth biggest second weekend in domestic box office history. Only billion-dollar behemoths, Star Wars Force Awakens, $149 million, Avengers Endgame, $147 million. Infinity War, 114 million. Black Panther, 111 million. Jurassic World, 106 million. The Avengers, 103 million. And this June's Inside Out, 201 million have enjoyed bigger sophomore outings than Deadpool and Wolverine. By, and, and actually, it bypassed last year's Barbie, who did 93 million in its second weekend. So, what's the total so far? Well, the total so far, and this is from Box Office Mojo, domestically, we're at nearly 396 million and internationally we're at 428 and a half million for a total cum worldwide of 824 million plus at the box office. Now, this movie's already surpassed its first two outings. Both Deadpool and Deadpool 2 did somewhere in the 780 million range, so we're we're past those. And I got to say this is a bad for what I think is the in my opinion, the second best Deadpool movie of the of the three. I mean, Deadpool one was, in my opinion, great. Yeah, it had a few flaws, but I thought it was great. Deadpool two, what did it for me was the kid. The kid kind of spoiled it for me a little bit, but the story I thought was okay. This one, it ranks above Deadpool two, in my opinion, just because Wolverine's in it. So if we're looking at Rotten Tomatoes, as of today, we're still at 96% audience score, 78% critic score. That's not a surprise that the audience likes it more than the critics. And the reason why I say that is, is because some people are upset about the number of gay jokes in Deadpool and Wolverine. This is from Breitbart, David Ng. Gay jokes in Deadpool and Wolverine spark backlash amongst the LGBTQ plus movie critics. Oh, here we go. See, Deadpool and Wolverine take shots at everybody. Everything. So, to get upset because of some jokes is just, in my opinion, just being soft. I mean, come on. The Merc with the Mouth. That's what he does. He makes jokes. He goes after everybody. Nobody's a protected class. Marvel's Deadpool and Wolverine is one of the few unqualified hits of the summer, drawing audiences all over the world with its mix of action and R-rated comedy. But one group isn't having a good time. The LGBTQ plus movie critics who are calling out the movie for its numerous gay jokes. Deadpool and Wolverine features an abundance of gay panic, quote-unquote, jokes made at the expense of its two male superhero protagonists, the spandex-dressed Deadpool, and his extremely muscular buddy, Wolverine. Since Deadpool's sexuality has been 
long been a matter of enjoyable speculation among fans. He is quote unquote pansexual in the original comic. Many viewers are interpreting the jokes as something of an in joke themselves, taking the franchise's ambiguously gay subtext to another often raunchier level. Ryan Reynolds appeared to admit as much when he posted a YouTube promo that was an overt parody of a, we'll just call it some juicy stuff. Because I don't want to get this video censored on YouTube. And I'll send it around the popcorn bucket, which by the way, I still want one of those popcorn buckets. Just saying. So, what are the gay movie critics saying? Well, the Guardian critic Guy Lodge led the grievance parade, slamming the movie for what he deemed was a schoolyard homophobia. Same-sex attraction is thus treated as little more than a gag, neither fulfilled nor corrected by the film itself, he wrote. It's a taunting akin to juvenile schoolyard homophobia, scarcely remedied by Deadpool himself being queer-identified. Say what? I, I correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, but I never noticed a Deadpool himself was being queer identified. At this point, the next time Disney dredges up the character, it might be more progressive to draw less attention to his pansexuality that, or simply let him fuck Wolverine. Other great critics also found gay jokes to be immature. Joe Lipset, who writes for slash film, and sites devoted to queer horror movies called up the movie's frat boy gay jokes. I snuck away from Fantasia to check out Deadpool Wolverine. I wish I hadn't. It's shockingly bad from the CGI blood to the frat boy gay jokes to the lack of stakes to the terrible villain. Poor Emma Corrin. It's an unequivocal mess. Other film reviewers expressed exasperation. Exasperation. I can't say that word with the movie's gay jokes. Me when Deadpool makes a fifth joke in a row where he, where the punchline is being gay or I will get canceled for that one. Let's check this out. Okay. Enough of that. It really rubbed me the wrong way that Deadpool referred to gay people as the gays in the new movie as if he isn't queer himself. I hate how his queerness is only ever played as a joke and never once sincerely. If anything, I think Deadpool's more bisexual because, you know, he does all the queer stuff, but he also, you know, had Vanessa. Just saying. Again, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. At the risk of getting too moralistic, I also think uh, it's also a movie I think is sincerely homophobic. So the idea that people need to be more normal about the fact that general audiences are really getting a kick out of nonstop gay jokes during this cultural movement or moment is very frustrating. All I got to say is guys lighten up. Like I said before, Deadpool takes shots at everyone everything he doesn't take shots at one particular class of people and only one particular class of people i mean there's no doubt that this movie is a success is it going to reach a billion dollars i think it's going to i originally said in my other videos that i did regarding this movie that i thought this movie was going to hit 800 million and hit a wall and, and that's where it was going to end up. And I was wrong. It surpassed 800 million. It's on its way to a billion. Now, is it going to catch Inside Out being the top grossing movie of the year? I don't know. That remains to be seen. I, I, I think it'd be awesome if it did, especially for an R-rated movie. But that's just my two cents. Tell me what you guys think. Comment down below. While you're at it, take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.